in this video, we are gonna share with you how we got started with the RV and travel lifestyle, plus share some tips on how you too can get started. So stay tuned. We are Charity, Ben, Dakota, and Trinity. We decided we didn't want to wait for a life of adventure. So in 2017, we bought our first RV and set off to live a life of travel in the USA. We've visited over 38 states in three years and have many more to go. Follow along to learn all the best places to see, RV and travel tips, and much more. So how exactly did we get started in the whole RV lifestyle and, and travel kind of thing? We're gonna talk about that a little bit in this video, but before we get into the meat of today's video, I want to say a huge thank you to those of you that have jumped in and are supporting us on Patreon. It really, truly makes all of the difference and it really frees us up to keep bringing great videos like this to you week in and week out. So thank you so much for your support. And if you're interested in jumping over into Patreon, we've got some great monthly giveaways going, exclusive behind the scenes videos that aren't on YouTube. You can check that out at the link below. Part of the reason that we've chosen to live this lifestyle is really about experiences over things. You know, if you ask me what I got for Christmas when I was 10 years old, I probably couldn't tell you that. <laughs> but what I could tell you are the experiences that I had with my family growing up and some of the different things that we did. Now, I didn't grow up in a family that had a ton of resources. It was a one working parent type of family and my family was awesome, but we lived this lifestyle to be able to give our kids some of the experiences that we never had when we were growing up just due to limited resources and really working remote wasn't a thing when I was growing up like it is now. And so that has opened up the world to be able to have more experiences and just choosing experiences and travel over having all of the play toys or the material possessions. We also have just had this desire to be able to see new places and meet new faces. And I know that sounds kind of cliche, but the relationships that we have been able to forge and the people we have met out here on the road, you would not get that just living day-to-day -day life in a residential neighborhood if you didn't just step out of those neighborhood boundaries. And that is really what we wanted. And that is why that we have chosen this lifestyle of RVing and traveling with our family is to be able to have those types of opportunities. So let's talk a little bit about how we got started. One of the first things that we did was we created a vision board, so to speak. So we had some really great mentors in our lives that gave us a recommendation to go down to the local RV dealership and start shopping for the RV we wanted. Now, we were in no position to buy and had no plans to buy that day. But what we did is we found a class A RV that we thought would be super fun. And we took our picture in front of that RV and then printed it out and stuck it on our refrigerator where we could see it every single day. And we said, this is our goal. The next thing that we started doing was just researching RVs. So I would jump onto RV Trader. We had the RV Trader app on our phones. We were checking things like Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist listings, which was more of a thing at that particular time. But we just started doing our research. And another super fun thing that we did was visiting RV shows. This was a great way to be able to get an idea of what is out there, what do floor plans look like, just starting the research phase. So research, research, research was the next step in our journey. So something that we did find in this particular research period was that used was more affordable than new. So now that we've been out living the RV lifestyle for a little while, we kind of have this game that we call about my RV is better than yours. And 
you've probably seen this where you pull in to stop somewhere and there's other RVs that are parked there. You pull into a campground and you look at the fancy schmancy setup and you're like, oh my gosh, like my RV is crap compared to this. But that's not what it's about. It's about what is the vehicle that's going to get you where you need to go. So don't fall into the my RV is better than yours game as you're starting to do your research and as you start to look at different RVs. The next step in our journey was the actual purchase of our very first RV. Now this was like a super exciting day and we were just so overjoyed to be able to purchase our first RV. But let me tell you something about that first RV. It was a 17 year old RV. We bought it in 2017 and it was a 2000 Fleetwood Pace Arrow gas engine class A motorhome. And we were overjoyed to have it and it was the vehicle that got us jump started into this lifestyle of travel. And it was a great first RV, but it didn't cost us an arm and a leg. It was very reasonable on insurance and registration because we did purchase something that was 17 years old and it wasn't the newest fancy schmancy RV that was out there. So it made this lifestyle feasible for us now versus waiting until that we were in our retirement years. So of course, after buying that new to us RV, we were super excited and we just wanted to take off. And so at that time, we were not set up to be able to just work remotely or to be able to just move into it full time. So we did our first shakedown trip, and this is something that we highly recommend, is to always have that shakedown trip. Alrighty, so we've got it all set up, and now we are going to start the grill and make some bacon and eggs. And really what that should look like is it should look like a trip that's not across the United States, but is within maybe a day drive from where you live, so that if you need to, get back to where you live or something happens, you're not way across the country. So our first shakedown trip was about an eight hour drive and where it was, was to an area of the country where we had some family that was also there that we could go visit, but we had some people that were knowledgeable about RVs. And so they were able to come alongside us and walk us through our whole RV and teach us how that the systems work and how do you look at your holding tanks? How do you dump your holding tanks? What does it look like to have a fridge that runs on propane and electricity? And all of these nuances that as a brand new RVer, you need to learn and we were rookies and needed to learn. And so it was invaluable to have that resource of somebody else that knew this life to be able to come in and kind of teach us the ropes about our RV and how systems inside of RVs work. Now, if you're wanting to explore that more, we have a great resource over on the channel called All About RVs. Jared Gillis is very, very knowledgeable about RVs and has tons of videos in his video library over there about RV systems and how they work. So we'll put a link in the description below to the All About RVs channel, which is a great resource when you're first getting started in the RV lifestyle. Kind of the last and final step that we needed to take was to start venturing out further and to really set ourselves up to be able to travel on a full-time basis. So what that looks like for us was making sure that we had sources of income that were completely portable, meaning that we could take this show on the road. And so that is what we begin to work towards and we transition into being full-time entrepreneurs and owning our own businesses that we could work from anywhere that we had an internet connection and started traveling across the country and truly living a lifestyle of travel. It's 
So let's talk about some steps that you can take if you're ready to jump out there and get started with a lifestyle of travel. Number one, start dreaming. What is it that you want to do? Where do you want to go? What do you want life to look like in five years, in 10 years? What do you want to say that you have done, that you have seen, or who are the people you want to say that you have met five years from now? Start dreaming and then write it down, take a picture, create a vision board of sorts and put it somewhere where you're gonna see it every single day. Maybe that's on your refrigerator like it was for us, or maybe that's on your bathroom mirror where every day when you brush your teeth and you comb your hair, you see that and you say, that is my vision and that is what I'm working towards. Visualize every single day what it is that you want and how you want life to look like for you in the next five years. So the next step is to start researching. What is it gonna take for you to make that next step? Do you need to purchase an RV? Do you need to set yourself up to be able to work on the road? What is the next step that you take? And then start the research towards that next step that you need to take to get you started with a lifestyle of travel. Something to remember is you want to make sure that purchasing that RV doesn't put you in a bad spot financially. You wanna make sure that that RV is a blessing and not a curse. Plus, you need to consider the fact that as you go out and as you travel, you're gonna to wanna to have some resources financially to be able to do things like excursions or Maybe you'd like to do that zip line that you've always thought of or go on that kayaking or canoe trip down the river. You need to make sure that you've got enough resources from a financial perspective to be able to go do those things while you're out on the road and not just driving from place to place to sit in a campground the whole time that you're there. Something to remember is to start now while you can, but living a lifestyle of travel or just an RV lifestyle doesn't mean that you have to just up and leave your job and travel across the country. There are so many things that you can do in an extended weekend or a one or two week trip out. We meet so many families out here on the road that they do one week every summer or they try to add a week on as they go every year. So maybe that first summer it's one week out and then the next summer they go out for two weeks or three weeks at a time. Not everybody has a job that's portable. We've met people that are out here living this lifestyle that do it on a part-time basis that have jobs that you just can't pick up and take with you on the road. like law enforcement or working for the city or maybe people that are business owners that have a small business that you just can't abandon necessarily. You have to kind of stay there and make sure that things are running smoothly on a day-to-day -day basis. And so that doesn't mean that you can't live a lifestyle of travel. It just means that you're gonna do it on a part-time basis and not a full-time basis. And there's still so much to see and so much to do on that part-time basis that don't discount small beginnings and say it's not gonna work just because maybe I don't have a job that's portable. You can still get out there and you can live that lifestyle that you're dreaming of. I guess kind of one of the big things that I'm getting at is don't wait. <laughs> don't wait until you're retired. Don't wait until that you have a job that's portable. Don't say when this happens, then I'll get started. Get started now. Do what you can now. None of us are promised tomorrow. The age that we are now, why we're not quite gray yet, at least I hope I'm not turning too gray. I've found a few. What we've learned and we've seen, we've had deaths in the family. We've seen our friends have health crisis. We've seen financial crisis hit families that we know that are young families. We're not promised tomorrow and you never know what's going to happen. So get started now and make those memories now while you can, whether that's with your kids or maybe your grandkids or 
maybe you're ready to just go out there and be a solo RVer. There's so many that are doing that too. So whatever that looks like, get started now, visit your state park, visit your local beach if that's the extent for now, but take that step and then watch that thing grow. So you'll have to let us know where you're currently at in your journey. Are you out here living a life of travel? Are you still in that dreaming phase? Maybe you're in the researching phase. Let us know in the comments below because we would love to hear from you and know where you're at in your journey and let us know if there's any questions that we can help answer for you as you are researching or as you're considering this lifestyle or maybe where you're already out living this lifestyle. We have a ton of videos here on our channel about fun places to go. We always share about the campgrounds that we're at. So make sure that you check out our playlist, which I'll put a link above to all of our travel videos. This is just gonna give you some fun ideas of places to go and things to see out there. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you give this a thumbs up if you found this content helpful and maybe share it with somebody that needs to hear this message about not waiting, but getting started now. If you'd like to see more videos about that travel, check those out right over here. And if you'd like to see more videos with RV tips, tricks, storage, check those out right over here. And until next time, we'll see you on the road.